Good morning, Saturday, 7.50 in the morning. We're leaving the city limits campground in Wallace. That's a Wallace RV park. We spent the last night here, had a good burger and a beer right in that local pub and brewery. And we are heading today for a section three of Idaho BDR. We're heading out from Wallace to Piercy. So that's a, a third day section six, or for us it's a section three. So, but first we're gonna hit maybe some kind of a breakfast. gravel begins all right day three of the BDR as I mentioned a few minutes earlier on a campground after having a breakfast we're hitting the first gravel into the moon pass road so we have a uh, hundred and twenty four miles according to the GPS to cover today and uh, it is nine quarter after nine and uh, we're starting the Idaho BDR we had a great breakfast uh, that was a nice and uh, solid portions to fill up the guts for the day or for most part of the day I should say and the dust is cloud of dust is in front of me after the guys went through already so we are beginning the climb looks like some smaller switchbacks according to the gps map it's still manageable in the morning it's cooler between the trees but the actual temperature here is uh, 21 degrees Celsius. Oh, there's a grouse crossing the road. four wheelers today uh, it's a weekend Saturday so that expected that is expected and uh, to get around them or film it's almost mission impossible uh, but they're nice enough that uh, after a while they pull over to the side of the road and you can get by but getting stuck behind the truck uh, heading with the canoes or some other stuff here not much fun you'll be eating the dust for some time and you can feel it in your teeth grinding <laughs> mm. just enter into a forest nice and cool here less dust by the looks of it
small bridge. I wonder how tough is that gonna get because that looks pretty bumpy comparing to the other thing. Wow, this is a uh, pretty nice looking though, the scenery. Look at all these slides on the left. See, we have water. We could have camped here, technically, yesterday. I took a wrong turn going up and that started getting too rough. I went off the truck and I tried to zoom it in, but it was pointing me this way on a GPX file on the Garmin. Uh, the good thing I didn't go too far, just a little bit and separated from the guys. So just gotta get down here from this. Uh, it started turning very miserable. Okay, gotta get bent down along the creek. That's the problem. Some kind of a talent, a tunnel. It's pretty cool. Oh shoot! Can't see anything, but Okay, that was it for uh, gravel, now it's uh, getting more challenging section. I was quite some time on a smooth dusty gravel limestone and now it's, uh, it's a pretty crazy setup. It's got to be careful for climbing up here everywhere. Somehow, yeah, it's getting ugly. Oh, wow, 
Tight. Tight, tight. I don't think anybody filmed those sections, to be honest, because I watched multiple IBDR videos and I haven't seen all this. This is like a torture. Yeah, I'm on the left. Yeah. I look at the map. Yeah, so definitely not what I looked at. Big rats roots, rocks, you name it, it's here. And I'm pretty sure on a video that's gonna go, it's gonna look very easy. I don't think you need any teeth whitening after this dust. Your teeth is gonna, your teeth is gonna be nice. You can't see shit with that shadows. And dust on top of it. I'm pulling back. Now, that's the BDR that nobody ever showed you. <laughs> Is it still rocks? Holy shit. Bo tu jest złoto i srebro. Very possible, że to może być złoto albo srebro. Świeci się cała droga, tak błyskoczy. Może tu jak do jakiejś kopalni te drogi prowadzą już samfę.
Beautiful. I have a feeling we might be approaching a bridge at this moment. Uh, if, let's see if I'm right, because I saw it from the top for a brief moment. And that's why I had to stop and swap the card, because I had a full card. And that's the bridge coming up here. Yeah, wow, that's cool, that's cool. And that's the place to fly the drone over it. Beautiful. So yeah, we're almost more than halfway through the section three of Idaho BDR. Just stopped here at this beautiful lake or river actually. And we have another 40 miles to go. So not too much at this point. Uh, let's hope it's not gonna stay as dusty as it stays for most of the day. Hoping for the best here but you never know. There's no towns anywhere. Not really you can buy anything on the way here. There was like only one town that we went through today, but that was pretty much at uh, the fir like first hour of, um, of the ride. And that uh, third section, there's not many lookouts. Uh, that, there was a couple of them, but uh, nothing uh, as nice as the second section that we went through. So yeah, it's time to wrap it up from here slowly and dress up because I'm still sitting in my shorts and we will start heading up towards Pierce, Idaho. We just passed the Grand Recreation area that we had a dip and it says 42 miles to end of day three. It is actually quite late right now. What time do we have right now? It's 3.30. Uh, yeah, no, on four o'clock almost actually. Yeah, I just corrected myself. So maybe another two, three hours, I'll say, to, and we should be there. But that part of the road actually is not nothing impressive. <laughs> the lake is down below. Holy, this is a lot of gravel.
Oh yes, I saved it. We've got 22 miles left to the destination, uh, descending from the mountains and uh, riding in a little bit co cooler spot. It is cooler here between the trees because the temperature outside is like uh, 30 degrees still. It is uh, 4.30 so it's a pretty long day so far and we didn't really have that many brakes. As much as you love riding after all day on two wheels it's nice to settle down in the evening with a cold brew in your hand. Oh still one more view area there we go a lot of forestry trunks in between those uh, hills uh, we are sitting on the main drag but uh, it looks like this is active uh, also active lumber operation logging operation that's the word I was looking for good thing I have friends behind me <laughs> you can see the winding road I think that's what we're we going on that's where But look, it's, uh, it's those switchbacks that I've seen on the map, those tight, really tight switchbacks. There's few of those here. But the other one is, uh, I don't think it's covered with the gravel. No, the, the other ones are just, uh, just for trucks to get in and pick up the lumber. So we've been riding all day on that white, dusty gravel. And the last section here, we have another 18 miles. That is much more pleasant to ride on. And actually you can fly through this stuff. Still have to slow down on the corners, but other than that, it's a smooth grind, gliding. Unless they put some fresh oil on that stuff or water. I'm not sure. Left, 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 left. The logging roads don't want to end today. We're back in the logging in section. <laughs> What the hell? Three point four miles to end of section three. Look at this, how old everything is here. Holy crap, man. Are we moving back in time? Here's and there's a gas stations and people filling in the bikes. So I think we might have to do the same. I got only one bar. Is there another gas station in here? I wonder. Oh, look at this, like old stuff here. I don't think there's any other gas station. I'm just gonna zoom through. Yeah, that's the only joint with gas. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Okay. 
but that, that's it. That's uh, that's as good as it gets. I need fuel, and I hope they they're open. All the Kurd antiki. Seriously. Wow. This is broken hose. Such All right, so we have pulled in for a night. We found a spot near Pierce, Idaho. So not easy to find anything on water and definitely that's something what you want when you're traveling on a BDR. If you don't want to spend the night in, night in a hotel, uh, you can pull in like we're always trying to uh, camp out by the river or some kind of a lake or in this case it's a pond. It's called a uh, Campbell Pond, just uh, Highway 11, a little bit uh, north of uh, Pierce, Idaho. So you got some kind of a washrooms here, no showers, but who needs a shower if you have this pond right here? People are fishing. So uh, there you go, it's called a uh, Campbell's Pond. So there's fishing, camping allowed. And of course, there's fire pits. So if you want to cook your meal on fire, have a bonfire in the evening, that's also a good thing. Beautiful, there's even a boat launch. There you go. Looks pretty clear. As good as it gets. When you're dirty, anything is gonna do to take a swim. Anglers are having a blast. <laughs> Beautiful area. Now it's time to have a local brew. We bought a multi-pack with different flavors, three each. Apparently the water is warm. That's what I was told by the angler.